Hello everyone. As you can see on my screen, the ASCF, that is Olympic Chess Federation, have organized national cadets and youth online the Rapid Chess Championship 2021. The event will start on 10th June and various age groups will be having for this event and the last date for the event will be like 3rd July 2021. So we are having like under 18 open and girls, under 16 open and girls, under 14 open and girls, under 12 open and girls and under 10 open and girls. We will be having 10 events, 10 age categories for this event. So this event will be held on Tornado.com, the new evolving platform. And the first question after hearing the name Tornado will come to your mind like as a player, how I can get registered to Tornado? If you are worried about that, don't worry. This video will surely help for you. So we will follow some steps to get registered on Tornello. We will go step by step. So what you should do is, you should first go to the Tornello website. As you can see on my screen, you have to go to Tornello.com, that home.tornello.com. Your web address should be home.tornello.com. Okay. Once you go to this website, you have to click on sign in. Once you click on sign in, this window will appear. If you are existing user of Tornello, you can just log in to Tornello. Otherwise, you can click on create account, create new account. Okay. This form is having a bit low font. So what we'll do, we will just zoom the form for a better view. Okay. Then I will be logging it like I have made one test email ID test dot tornello at red gmail dot com. First name I will write like Vivek Sohani. I will put my password. Then the same password I should enter as a confirmation. Just I will click on create account that's it the account will be created for you the pop-up window will come like you have to save the username and save you have to save the password for tornado.com you can save if you find it safe otherwise you can click on never i will prefer to click on never okay once uh, you are done with this you will be having like other screen i will just show it to you this is the screen which you will be getting. So here you can find the user dashboard. You can find out the settings. Few things are there. As a player, we should do. You have to go to user dashboard first. In user dashboard, you can see all the organizations, browse organizations. You can play a few events as well from there. Like you can see, if you browse this organization, there are various organizations, and if you are allowed to play those events, officially you can play those events. So in this avatar, you can go to your account settings as well. In account settings, various things are given. Like you can enter your phone number. This time I will enter my phone number. Okay, I will have some of my game preferences like how the board style should be there. Then uh, P style, you can customize as per your choice. Here. Uh, there is game preference for pre-move. Normally for this uh, national event, the pre-moves are disabled by the organizer. So this option will not be there for you. Then allow auto queen. You can click if you want to promote every time to queen. And then move confirmation. This is very important point that you should confirm the moves. The thing is we are playing online. So to avoid the mouse slips, you can go to confirm the moves. So if you check this move, Every time pop-up will come on the, your window once you make the moves, like whether the move is confirmed by you, if you click OK, the move will go. Otherwise, the clock will be running and your move will not go. If you are not familiar with the confirmation of moves, untick and save changes. The changes are successfully saved. Meanwhile, one more thing we should do is we have to verify our email ID. We'll do that later. What I will do is I will just show you how to add your date of birth, how to add your every detail on your this profile. Okay. So the mail has come. In this mail, what we have to do? We have to just click on confirm email ID. Like blue color button is there. If you confirm that, a new tab will open. 
and you have to sign in again with the given user id and password so we are already logged in and it is showing that our mail id is already been verified so this is okay so we have this dashboard in account settings you can see all the things which you have saved now what you should do is you should go to tournament link you, you will be receiving once your registration is over ASF will be sending the registration link to you on your official email id which you have put in the entry form so let's try with one the test event which i have made for testing so this link is there you can just copy this link in your web browser and uh, hit enter so this event will open as a player what i should do i should first enroll so here button is there like enroll now so this is actually four step process as a player to enroll on any event okay so this four step process is there then what we should do in first step we have to add the player we have to add the player name now as the event is official national championship as per the regulations we should have our real name on the profile so what i will do i will go to ratings.fairy.com i will go to my profile i will copy this name and i will paste it over there so that you should not have any typos you have to go to next step our account is getting created now i can upload my profile picture as well from here if i wish to or i should click on this check box to go to next step like i will click finish once i finish my player will be there i can go to next step now the next window will come like what is your estimated rating here what you can do is whatever the rating you are having on your fide profile in the standard section like as of now i am not rated so what i will do i will put zero as my rating let's say if the player is rated you can put your actual standard fide rating then i have to put my date of birth like 1993 year of birth i have to enter and then fide id let's say i will enter my fide id as 25710478 and i will go to next step this will ask for the confirmation of phone number and email id if the details are correct you can go next otherwise you can change it as of now also again it will confirm the details from you and you can confirm the entry that's it you are there in the event the pop up will come your entry was successfully placed so after going to tournament what you should do like once you are there in the zoom meeting once you are there in the breakout room once your camera is there once your screen sharing is there what you should do you should click on ready i will prefer not to click now if you are there in zoom meeting arbitrator says that you are everything is good then you can tick ready button ready button ticking means that arbitrator will come to know that you are ready full full fledgedly like i can make you the pairing okay so if you click the ready button now and at that moment if you are not ready with the zoom or maybe camera on you may face issues so i would suggest that once your arbitrator in the zoom tells that your every, everything like screen share camera everything is good you can go to ready button okay so once i click ready button the smiley will change and it is all set for me okay so here you can do like if you don't want to play one round or two rounds or anything like that you can withdraw your uh, entry from that particular round okay okay as a dashboard i will have some new settings to be so as a player i should enter all the settings also your dashboard will come for me again user dashboard is there okay in the player profile you click edit and at the bottom you have to enter all the details again like my date of birth is 1993 my birthday is december 26 and gender i can tick like male and i can save the changes so the organizer who is organizing this event he will have all the details from you 
which are required from the playing platform okay so all these things you should do as a player to get registered yourself as a player in national championship as well as in your state championship which will be having organized by the respective state associations like for maharashtra will be having mca for tamil nadu we will be having like tnsca like that each state will organize their own events okay i think that's it for now i hope you have understood how to register as a player to tornello thank you if you like the video you can just subscribe my channel for more upcoming videos thank you